Nobody's seeing that. Nobody's seeing that. <laughs> What's up, guys? You'll watch it after the fact, though, whether you're watching live or not. That's true. We have not gone live here at Big John TV in months and months and months. I'm hoping our internet, here. we've got bigger phone or better phones. Um, there's Brittany. So Hi, Brittany. Hi. Um, hopefully this works out okay. Better than the last few times we've done it. Hello, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Hello. So let's give it a few seconds, make sure we're all connected, make sure we're here and it's actually working like it's supposed to. I can tell you now, we're doing new Oreos, though, finally. All three flavors, the brand new Oreos. Yep. I'm most interested, I think, in the pina colada. Little grainy, but not too bad. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't get worse. Hopefully that's manageable. Mm -hmm. Hello, Hi, Sandra. Sandra. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Everything else is Sandra, but this one's like, nope. Oh, yeah, maybe. Almost. Almost not. All right. This is like John's face is grainy, but can't see Maddie and Jessica. Yes, you're grainy. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's get, let's give it a minute. Let's give it a minute. Let's see if it'll work itself out. Because if it's going to go to pot now, maybe we won't eat these live for you. Oh, my goodness. I don't want to ruin a whole three Oreos, three flavors for a grainy video that's not good. If it fails, we'll just have to film it <laughs> what and are you doing, post buddy? on Tuesday. I don't know. <clears throat> I can't edit those out. Oh, I know. You're going to have to deal with them. All the ahems <clears throat> that you normally ask to edit out. Can't do it live. All right, so three new flavors of Oreos. How are we looking? Are we, are we sounding looking okay? A little grainy, but not bad. What's that? It's all the same stuff. Same stuff, okay. It looks fine to me, okay? Well, good. That's good. It looks okay on John's phone. Yeah, the phone looks clear. Yep. Now, somebody's going to call me now. Watch, I guarantee it. Probably. We'll mess it all up. Um, jinx it. So we got three new flavors of Oreos. We wanted to do them live. We have not gone live in forever. Too many phone issues before. Too, Too many, many phone connection issues. issues. We also haven't had a flavor, a new flavor of Oreos in quite a while. That's true. It's like they stopped doing the normal, you know, letting it all out. Right. Any good recipes for Mother's Day? It looks good for me. Uh, there will be some. Hold on, time out. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. There will be a at least a recipe, a single recipe on Wednesday. That would be a great Mother's Day. Should I say the word? What it is? Dessert. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. We got a good Mother's Day dessert coming up Wednesday. Uh, we may or may not get a chance to add anything else to it. But definitely one solid, really, really good. And it should be perfect for Mother's Day. So these are my Oreo creation. Try and vote for your chance to win. Yeah, so you guys, you know, the, the they did the same thing with the Lay's. Yeah. They, well, every year I think they do the same. The right, I think Lay's. that's a yearly thing. They ask for fan submissions of ideas for flavors of chips. So they've been doing that, and you get a bunch of weird, you know, biscuits and gravy, blah, blah, blah. So now Oreo seems to be picking up on that game, mm -hmm. and people have voted. And it was a thing. Well, I don't I don't did know. Did people submit these flavors to yeah. you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, so what, now you get to vote. From what I understand, there were thousands and thousands of submissions. and How these did were, we miss that? I know. I, I, I never saw that. I missed that whole entire game. Um, so you go to myoreocreationcontest.com and you text or you text vote to 59526. And you only have till the end of June to pick your favorite flavor. So that's how these were done. I guess these were done by fan submissions. And these were the top three that they picked. What would you make an Oreo flavor of, Maddie? Mm -hmm. You can pick any flavors. Ooh, this is hard. Um, and it can't be one they've already made before, which really narrows down the field. Right. Because they, they've made a bunch of weird things. Neapolitan ice cream. 
I think they have that one. I think they've made that already. Hmm. What would you do, John? I don't know, because I I think of odd, random, something spicy. Bacon. They've done bacon, haven't they? No, Ritz has done bacon, Ritz but I don't think bacon. Oreo did bacon. Hmm. I know they have, like, the, the, the chicken and waffles. Yeah. I just got an idea. Jelly donut. Pancakes and syrup. Right. Baked me... potato. Ew, a baked potato cookie. <laughs> That's weird. Ooh, see the beard go, no. Uh-uh. <laughs> no. Uh, I think I do. What about like a Danish, a cheese Danish, vegetable like that flavor? Yeah. Like the cheesiness and well, like, then, like glaze. the the red velvet. They the cream cheese. The center tastes like cream similar, cheese. Yeah. yeah. But the but the cream cheese in a Danish isn't as sweet. Right. True. You know what I mean? I think that'd be interesting. I'd like a spicy one of some sort. I think that'd be fun. Spicier than the red hot one they Spice, did. yeah, because that one was just cinnamony. That's not a, not necessarily, I don't think of that as like a spicy. Mm. I'm talking like jalapeno spicy. Like yes. burn your mouth spicy. Okay. Well, should we start eating them? Should we get into them? I think so. All right. Um, if you're commenting after the fact, I think all the comments stay now on the live feeds. We'll see. We haven't done this since, the up, you know, updates and everything. That's true. Uh, but comment down below. What's your favorite flavor of Oreo all time? And if you could create your own flavor, what would you create? What would be your signature flavor? Right? Right. All right. So let's open. You want to open the pina colada ones first? Yeah, open those. I want to taste All right. So these are pina colada Oreo Thin. thins, which in my previous research, I've determined that. Hold on. Time. Realistically, these are not any better for you than you, these. You just get less. They're smaller. That's it. The calorie count is the exact same. You get to eat two of these cookies versus, no, sorry, four of these versus two of these, but the calories are the exact same. So don't think they're a healthier version because they're not. It's a trick. I hear thin. I think diet. I think low calorie and less sugar or whatever, but they're not. Just pull it hard. There you go. I did it! Ooh, Hello, fun. I've been DMing you and Maddie on Instagram. I can't, oh, oh, hey, Faith. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, Nikki did. Looks good. Okay, cool. We'll have to check our uh, Instagram messages. Sometimes they get backlogged. We'll get on them. Ooh, this smells really oh. good. Original on Oreo, but I tasted the pina colada. It's all right, I guess. I like those little pina colada smoothies. Very, very coconutty. Mmm. <laughs> I taste it. Mm -hmm. I, I taste both pineapple and coconut. It has almost too much of a fake flavor to me for the, the pineapple. They're not bad. They do a good job capturing it. So my criteria for tasting things like this are... Does it taste like what it says it tastes like? And then, is it good? Is that a good taste? <laughs> right. Like, does it taste good, too? These definitely taste like pina colada. Mm -hmm. You get the pineapple. You get the coconut. They work. Because they're thin, and they're opening it and eating like I did, by the time you take the full cookie bite, it's like, it's just cookie. It's got a good flavor. It is there. You know it's pina colada. Yeah, I like those. Hi, Faith. Hi. Hello there. Those would be good as, like, when you make the Oreo truffles. Yeah. Those would be really good. It'd be good as, like, a crust. Oh, yeah, like a crust for a cheesecake. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be a good oh, one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello, Rebecca. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. We are tasting new Oreos today, guys. I've had several messages through Instagram, I think mostly. A couple of comments on videos, too, about getting these new Oreos. We've had them like a week. We just haven't had time. Hello, Rachel. Yeah, we haven't had not, had not, uh, Dad's Den. Hey, hey. Hey, Dad's Den. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Hello. The Dad's Den. Mm -hmm. JCTV. Mm -hmm. I've been following you. You rock. I would like to, if you do challenges. 
Uh, yeah. Uh, you mean like family challenges or Connor and I just picked up these at Target. Love the shirt. Yeah, isn't that a cool shirt? <laughs> we found these at Target as well, these cookies. Not the shirt. This shirt, guys, JCTV. Um, I think we can have a link later. Yeah, I think I can have links after. We've done that before. JCTV, guys, this is where I got the shirt. Life is better with... Nachos. Nachos. Great channel. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, what were you saying? What was I saying? I don't know. See if you can get the Unicorn TV. Loving mm-hmm. the shirt, John. Thank you. Unicorn TV. What are you talking about, Faith? I have no See idea. See if you can get the Unicorn. We had Unicorn cereal last week. Oh, it's delicious. We've been looking for Unicorn ice cream. We can't find it. Just switched accounts. <laughs> There's JCTV now. Woohoo. Family challenges. Okay, yeah, family challenges. Um, yeah, we should do more family challenges. I agree. Um, We've just been rather busy in the evenings. So. Yeah, you know, Jamie with baseball, Maddie with gymnastics, school, work. Um, Hopefully during the summer we can get some more things out like Sometimes that. the kids aren't as um, enthusiastic about working <laughs> on the camera as I Woo! am. So, um, but there are several ideas that we've, we've seen or heard that uh, Jess and I have some more filming to do tonight. I think we're going to do the Death Nut Challenge tonight. So hopefully I'll be able to film other things later this week and I won't be dead from the spicy peanuts. And you, like you can try if you want doing your dares. Oh, the dares. Hmm. Interesting. Big shout out from Houston. Hey, Cheryl. Thanks for tuning in. Shout out back at you. Yay. And 24 hours in stores. Oh, yeah. Mm. You guys have... I'm I'm pumping out some great reviews. You made Mama go by the limeade from Wendy's the other day (laughs) and watching your video. Yeah, that limeade was good. That limeade was delicious. The salad, Uh, not so much. A little bit pricey, but that the fast food videos, quite honestly, they're 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 kind of I don't want to say expensive, but they can get a little bit. It's like certain restaurants too, for some reason, just like five six bucks for a sandwich. I'm like, come on, guys, two fifty for a small. But yeah, I, I thanks for watching, and I, I I like that I have that kind of you know suggestive power. <laughs> All right, shall we open the kettle corn? Um, yeah. Oh, no kidding. Carl's Jr. is a joke. So expensive, absolutely. But now, see, okay, I can go like, okay, am I in a, in a in a mood for like three or four burgers, or do I want? Sounds like Wendy's needs to pay you. Yeah, Wendy's, somebody pay me. Any of you fast food joints. Um, <laughs> Yeah, if I'm in a mood for, like, I want to eat, like, I'm really hungry, Carl's Jr. is not the place to go unless I want to spend the big bucks. So, like, I'll go to the dollar menu or wherever and get three or four things, right? So, uh, you always have to have that conversation with yourself. <laughs> Quantity or quality, right? So, like, there's no doubt Carl's Jr. They're really good burgers. I've been following you on Instagram since the first time DMing you. Does Maddie own her own account, DM posting, or do you... Maddie does not have her own cell phone. Um, we told her when she has a job to pay for said cell phone that she can have a cell phone. Exactly. Um, she does have an Instagram account. But it's um, on my phone, so. Matt, it's on Jessica's phone. And, and my tablet. And it's very, very private. Um, I don't... Oh, poor Maddie, LOL. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, yeah. poor girl. Yeah, such a sheltered life. Um, I'm big on Instagram. She's not so much. Mostly just playing around. Um, I can't do it right now because my tablet's dead and I'm too lazy to plug it in. Maddie, it's a good thing. Trust your parents. Bingo. He knows what he's talking about. There are some about. weirdos. Smart man. That's good parenting. Thank you. I I think so. I think it's just <laughs> common sense. You know, I, I understand kids wanting phones. I understand um, sometimes a need for them. I get it. But the distraction and the option and availability of weirdos. Yeah. Where's Jamie? Moss family. Hey. Moss family. Jamie. Jamie, get out here. <laughs> Jamie's waiting on the cherry cola flavored Oreos. He's, because... he's being. Hey, you got to show me your new haircut. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like my haircut. He's being a little bit shy today. But yeah, Jamie's waiting on these. He wants us to let him know when we get to those. So, let's see, what were we talking about? Carl's Jr., great burgers, but they're just pricey. It is what it is. Um, double Western Bacon Classic from Carl's Jr., that's a great burger. But, man, it's you get a meal, it's like 10 bucks. Moss Family TV, I'm a fan of you guys. Yeah, see you guys. 
Now, see, look, there's JC TV, there's Moss Family TV. You guys, these these are our friends, man. These these are the people we've gotten to meet, not in real life yet, but Maybe we've got solid YouTube friends, mm -hmm. and I dig it. I think it's awesome. Jamie, are you coming out? No, I'm coming out. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's in the bathroom. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't tell anybody that you're in the bathroom. No, you just did. Oh, sorry. Uh, Sandra, me too, but I'm scared to buy them, not like them. Cherry Cola. Okay, so we'll tell you if they're any good. You know what I'm interested in these? They have popping candy inside them. Popping candy. And yes, the Double Western Bacon, if you're hungry, that's a great burger. Now I'm craving a burger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm craving any kind of food that's food. Yeah. Are you almost done? All right. So yeah, the uh, the cherry cola ones actually have. We can't say popping pop candy. rocks. No, it's popping candy. But it's gonna. It should be fit, like fizzy kind of. Yeah. Messes with your mind. And I was looking do. at the kettle corn. Says it has with puffed millet pieces in it. What's millet? It's bird food. Ugh, what the heck? Yeah. Did you know? Can that? Can you make a vacation to Kentucky? Because I really. Oh, I would love to. Yeah. She didn't see the description. <laughs> <laughs> the pop rocks. That's funny. Pardon me for the cough. It's still allergy season, guys. I'm dying. Uh, um, yeah, if you weren't, I didn't know those were in there until very recently. That so, would, like, that could be shocking. That would trip you out a little bit. You pop a cookie in your mouth, all of a sudden your tongue is yeah. popping. It's like, what the heck? No, I, I would absolutely love to come to Kentucky. Um, I've got family in North Carolina. I've got friends all over back there. I would love to do, especially in the South. I would love to do a barbecue tour, southern states of America. Like that would be awesome. Um, someday, someday, someday once you get enough some, subscribers. Someday when we hit that million subscriber, you know, and I don't have to work anymore. <laughs> Adam got to go. We can just school. travel uh, year that's round. That's not any part of. Oh it, yeah, you still have to go to school. Too bad. I can quit my job, but you can't quit school. <laughs> you really can't quit your job. So. <laughs> <laughs> that was never agreed upon. You All right, well, what are we going to open next? Cause I... Do the kettle corn. Right. We'll save the cola for you. All right, guys, kettle corn coming up. So you said millet's bird feed? What? Yes, millet is bird food. It's the little tiny seeds. From a vacation to Maine. I'm from there. Uh, oh, cool. Maine will be all right. I'm, you know, I'm game to travel wherever, quite honestly. I would love. I would, make... yeah. Going to tour around the entire I, yeah, world. Right. Have you guys ever been to Edinburgh, Scotland? If not, I would, would you? Love oh, to. I'd love to. I would um, love to. Absolutely would love to. We both have, right? Yes. Scottish ancestry. Yes. Um, I do. Irish ancestry. Um, we all own kilts. I'm a Scottish Highland athlete. Um, I've been going to Scottish games since I was a kid. My sister did dancing. Grew up around them. We are going to try both of these cookies with peanut butter in about 30 minutes. We are going live with our cousins. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, we'll have to check in. Yep. As soon as we get done, so we'll tune in. When everyone's done watching here, move yeah. over to JCTV. <laughs> Make sure you go from our channel to theirs. There's your Sunday family entertainment. <laughs> Sunday lineup. Sunday lineup. Woo! If this works out and it doesn't crap out and it works like it's supposed to, I, I don't mind getting back into the live videos. I think you guys like them. John, you don't look anything like an Irishman. Hello, <laughs> you couldn't pull off the Viking look at Not all. Not at all. <laughs> don't go to Maine in winter because it snows. Maddie and I are both ten. Cool. I, I don't mind the snow in general. I would not want to live somewhere where there was like twenty feet of snow. Yeah, I don't want like where it shuts you into your house for days at a time. Right. I don't think I could handle yeah. that. And yeah, I got I got enough Irishmen and Scots many many. There's there's some red in this beard and. I look good in a kilt, though. You got it. You no, got it, you man. Uh, yeah, I do. It's just weird. I'll, I'll have to find a picture. <laughs> Come check out North Dakota. I'd love to. I'd love to. What's in North Car North Dakota? Sturgis? Is so that South Dakota? Isn't the, the Corn Palace somewhere around there? I don't there? know. I did my elementary school hot state report in North Dakota. Try the kettle corn cookies. Want to see what you guys think. All right. There is the boy. Do you wash your hands? No. Wash your hands. Come right back. Nice. These smell like kettle corn. They, I, I, it <coughs> smells like you're at the fair, standing next to the kettle corn booth. There is a sweet, salty, 
I hope yeah, they it's do like have... 20 feet or more and nonstop snowing there. Nope, then I ain't going there the winter time. <laughs> Some of the best Norwegian food you'll ever try. Nice. Mm. Why well, it's so weird already? Because it's chunky. Yeah. Is that supposed to make you think of popcorn pieces, I guess? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's definitely what they're going for. Well, I'm glad they didn't throw in the little pieces that get stuck in yeah. your teeth. That'd every be bit, every, time, every now and then there's like an unpopped kernel you crunch your teeth on. <laughs> this is too sweet for me. I like the flavor. Or, yeah, the taste. The cream is chunky. There's stuff in it. Yeah, it's got puffed millet pieces. So it's like little bits of rice, almost puffed rice. I it's, don't know if that's going to pick it up for you guys or not, but there are, there are chunks in it. There's one right there on the edge. I'm tired. Hi from Dublin. Oh, well, that went quick. Can I scroll back? Well, I don't know. What lovely family you are. Love your vlogs, guys. Never miss them. Thank you, guys. Oh, I love the, I love the fair. I wish the comments would stay on there whilst I'm trying to read them. <laughs> I'm back. So there was a comment there a minute ago. I missed it. About up somebody top. from Dublin. Dublin. Hi from hi to Dublin. Awesome. We'd love to go there though. For reals. Um, That's my dream vacation. Yeah. Love. Hope our stores get the love the fair. Hope our stores get these flavors. Okay, cool. Yeah, uh, Target, um, Walmart. We've seen them in Targets and Walmarts. Yeah. Uh, and the ranch place we just went to. Yeah, random little grocery store. Yeah, just random grocery store. The cream doesn't have any saltiness to it, but the cookie has a little bit more of the saltiness. All right, come here, Jim. If you eat just the cream, it's super gacky sweet. Try right, cookie. The cream will make it together better. My head. All right, so Jamie wanted to show off his new hairdo. We posted pictures the other day on Instagram, guys. We are we are pretty. I am pretty big on Instagram. Um, I like posting more day to day like family life stuff there. You know, can you shoot shout my Instagram account? Hi JCTV. I don't think we've seen the at Moss Family TV. John, should we go follow them? Moss Family TV is awesome. Yeah, JCTV. Um, great family. That I know you guys are into family stuff in general. Family stuff. Great family friendly. Healthy, cute you know, kids. like cute kids. Yeah, great family. Great Titus, family. Titus is hilarious. Great family vlog, for sure. He's uh, Titus. He's the dad from Moss Family. All right, what do you think of the cookie? Good. I'm from Dublin again, just letting you know you guys are amazing. Thank you, Gene Rowley. Appreciate it very much. Thanks for putting that comment in there again. It scrolled past too fast. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what we were looking for. Family friendly. Moss Family TV. There they are. We've worked with them several times with recipes, um, cooking She's videos She's always cooking something delicious. Yeah, yeah. Cool family. All right, tell them what you think of this one. Good. What does it taste like? Caramel. Sugar. Caramel? Yeah, yeah, okay. Can you shout out my Instagram? Okay, Instagram account Faith, F-A-I-8907 on Instagram. Check her out. Um, JCTV just subscribed to Moss Family with our recommendation. There you go. Making more connections. YouTube family. Connections made. <laughs> um, Faith Perry, been a fan of ours for a while. Y'all are so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are awesome, too. Appreciate it. Um, Faith Perry, check her out on Instagram. She's been with us, big fan from the beginning, too. Um, so you like these ones? They're not weird to you? You taste? They taste like caramel to you? He loves kettle corn, though, so that doesn't surprise it, me. I mean, again, now with the criteria of these cookies, does it taste like it says? Exactly. Yes. I love Jamie's on his honesty. He is so funny. Yeah, so Don't that you know if he doesn't like something for sure. Yeah, it's all fair. It's all good and fun until it's actual dinner time and it's time to eat real food. <laughs> yeah, because then he's still critiquing. The yeah, that ain't so cute because he won't eat dinner most of the time. Huh? No. Um. Oh, but he does keep it real. Oh. All right. Are you so ready? criteria again? Does it taste like what it says? Yes. Yes, it does taste like kettle corn. There's a sweetness, there's a saltiness in there. There's that, like, earthy kind of sea, like, popcorn. It tastes like popcorn. It yeah. really does taste like kettle corn. I think it's the cookie that has more of the popcorn flavor, and the cream is the, yeah. the sugariness. Yeah. Mm -mm. These are good. Um, okay, got to run, guys. Got to set up for our live at 5. Hope all of you join us after you're done with Big John TV. Absolutely, guys. We'll be done here pretty soon, too, because we got to cook dinner still. Uh, but we will definitely check in with you guys when you are live. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. You can't sit here. Um, let's get into the these cherry cola Oreos. Oh, so yeah. We're going to run out of time here pretty soon. Yeah. 
Okay, guys, Cherry Cola. Again, these are my Oreo creations. These were submitted by fans to Oreo to Nabisco. Um, and these were the top. These are the top three that they picked. They want you to go vote. You go to. Can I open them? Hold on. My Oreo Creation Contest dot com or text the word vote to five nine five two six. You have until the end of June to pick a winner for the three out of the three. So after we try this, one, we'll have to each decide no. which our favorite is. What that smells just like Coke. But like, is it a chocolate cookie? No, yeah, but. Do you really wish we had all these choices you have? Just get standard Oreos here. Oh. Jamie, you are a handsome dude. <laughs> they can't see you now, though. Come in here. This does smell exactly like cherry cola. Totally. Holy cow. Check out K&A Entertainment and photos there. It's from my mom and dad's business. Cool. All right, I've opened mine up. There's the inside. You got the cream and the red. I tell you, it smells like straight up. You know, like the gummy Coke bottles? Mm, yeah. It smells just like that Coke flavor. Whoa. Ah. Pop Rocky. Um. They smell better than they do. Oh, uh -huh. probably put Pop Rocks because it's always um, sizzling. Because sodas are fizzy, right? Mm hmm. You know, they do, they smell dead on like cherry cola. Now, the flavor, though, it's a little bit more on the, the back end. The flavor misses. I like the flavor of them. If I was blindfolded, I would never guess that was supposed to be cherry cola. That's it. I like the flavor that these cookies are. But they, to me, do not capture cherry cola well enough for me to be like, yep. Mm -hmm. It throws me off, too, when you have something that they're calling cherry cola, and they put a chocolate cookie on it. What does a chocolate cookie have anything to do with cherry yeah, cola? Yeah, you kind of got to get the cookie out of the way if you're <laughs> going to highlight such a fancy cream filling, right? <laughs> Don't hurt your mouth now. <laughs> Strange job. <laughs> I see you, Ozzy. The cookie actually takes on kind of a weird flavor from everything. Yeah, eating that as a full cookie, one full bite. It doesn't taste like anything. The co the chocolate flavor of the cookie fights way too much with that cherry cola flavor. It totally battles. It doesn't just like, oh yeah, that's what it is. The Pop Rocks are cool, but you can get those for 4th of July as well. They're coming out soon. I already saw them. Hmm. Um, so yeah, these, these are probably ones, bottom of my list. These are the bottom, as far as I'm concerned. Too. Jamie has a wiggly oh, yeah. too. That's and big news around here. And his birthday is on Thursday. Jamie turned six years Jamie old will on be Thursday. Six, Thursday the 10th. You oh, said I'm, I'm, I'm already 26. I told him the other day that it was his official due date was come and gone. So when, he, he was supposed to have been born. <laughs> so, even, so I was like, you were supposed to have a birthday today. And then he got mad that it wasn't yeah, his so birthday. Like, him. <laughs> so <he's, laughs> He was sad he had oh, to wait man. six more days. <laughs> All right, so officially, the top flavor, I think, in this household mm -hmm. would... I like I this one better. What? Yeah, I kind of you, you're going to go? Say goodbye? Mm -hmm. Ooh, party time for Jamie, yep. Yeah, All right, so time. I think, okay, then let's do this. Unanimous in the family, the co the cherry yeah, cola one. Yeah, cola is the Have worst. you thought about bringing out a cookbook of all the food you cook as we a fan? We have. Hi, guys. Chicago here. You all should do a Chicago hot dog challenge. I would love a hot dog challenge. I don't, I don't know if I've ever had a true Chicago dog now, per se, because there's a lot of vegetables on it. But um, He doesn't like vegetables. That's something most of them I do. I'm just teasing. But <laughs> I don't know if I've ever had a true official Chicago dog. Maybe that's something we'd have to work on. That'd be fun. And as far as a cookbook, honestly, yes, we have tossed that idea around. Um, I'm... We are so into food stuff. No ketchup on a Chicago dog. Okay. That's fine by me. Does it have mustard? Because I love mustard. Uh, I love mustard. Yeah, give us the rundown. Chicago dog. I know there's a pepper on it. I know there's a Isn't little there bit sauerkraut? Of, and they use celery salt or celery seed, too, which you don't like. Um, Is it the one that uses the extra green? Yes, on mustard, yes. Woohoo! Yes. The, the extra green. The extra green. Relish. So, 
don't turn the tablet on because we need the Wi-Fi. Don't mess it up. You're going to get us kicked off the internet. So. I don't care. Okay, it's, don't turn it on. Um, okay, so yeah, sorry. we would love to get into that. You know, between the barbecuing and the, the cooking and the kitchen stuff and the competitive eating stuff, it's like food, food, food. Um, which is the winner? For me, this one, I really like the pina colada. It was a good fruity flavor, but without being overly hot gacky pepper, sweet. Hot peppers, relish, relish celery, celery salt. salt. I could handle that. Maybe we'll have to do. We'll we'll have to look up a recipe and buy and make some. I think because they're clearly. I mean, we could probably find a restaurant around here that does them. I got Amy <laughs> showing off his wound now. What are you doing over there? Oh yeah, he got a, a booby on his elbow. Ready? I'm mad. Okay, go. Get yeah, run along. So. No. And so. You should try making Irish coddle. Oh, it is Irish coddle. It's a cream, right? Isn't it a? I don't know. Okay, you, we should try making Irish coddle now. We'll tell us what that is. Or I'll have to Google. <laughs> Irish coddle. Yo, Google! Um, Cherry Cola's out. Jessica <laughs> picks pina colada. I'm picking kettle corn. That one I, was too sweet for me. I think these are great. Kettle corn can be sweet too, though. I it mean, can. But I prefer this one. These both taste like what they say they're going to taste like. That is true. I like them both. I picked this one because it's weird. Find Vienna beef hot dogs as traditional Chicago hot dog. Okay. Oh, okay. We can do that. Fourth of July coming up. There'll have to be a hot dog challenge somewhere along the line. Deep fried flavored Oreos. You guys, you know what? I have a... Uh, I can't tell them if I do it. We have a recipe that involves Oreos and bacon, remember? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have to bust that one out pretty soon. Yeah, um, yeah we could do that. But yeah, Chicago dogs. I, I, I would actually... I'd be intrigued to never... I, I mean, you got to try one, right? Meat, mainly sausages, rashers, potatoes, carrots, or any veg. Oh, that sounds delicious. Fine by me. Dinner time. Let's go. I think I'd be down with pretty much any of that cuisine, right? Yeah. So, kettle corn wins in my book because it tastes like it and it's weirder. Pina colada tastes good. It's pina colada, so no big deal, but it's good. Yeah. There you All right, it. we're going to wrap it up, I think, here pretty quick. we got to cook dinner, too. I just got another idea for the... Um, a flavor? Yeah. What? Eggs. Scrambled eggs? Yeah. Ew, you're making gross flavors. Hey. I hate eggs. This is hey. so yuck. Both. No. This isn't Jelly Belly. We already have those gross flavors on Jelly Belly. Yum, and brown bread will send you send you the recipe. All right, there you go. Yeah, send me the recipe. Careful, don't, don't bump the camera now. Eggs. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we've enjoyed the live. We've never gotten disconnected. Raspberry. Okay. Ooh, raspberry would be delicious. Hopefully the sound and audio were good for you guys. Thank you for watching. Yeah. Thank you for the support. Um, always open to suggestions. We do what we can to handle those. Um, like, subscribe, and They're watching it live, so they've Bye. already liked it. And they've already subscribed. Um, <laughs> we're on that. Instagram. Bye, guys. Fun to watch. Thank you, Catherine. Appreciate it. Um, find us on Instagram, Big John TV. Uh, we do have a Facebook page too, but I'm I'm not very good at that one. It's Instagram mostly for Big yeah, John. Yeah, I put stuff on Facebook sometimes. Yeah, but in interaction and daily stuff, family stuff, more personal stuff on Instagram for sure. Bye, Rachel. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Had a great time, Sandra. Thank you. Thank you. We got thank a couple you. things to film tonight, including the Death Nut Challenge. Hopefully, goes well. Hopefully, you'll see it tomorrow. Yeah. Ugh. And maybe you'll never see us again. Let's yeah. I don't see dun, dun, I'm not seeing the dun, 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 I'm not seeing the button to end the live. I think it's just the X in the corner. I hope so. I'm gonna go for it. Alright guys, thanks for watching. <laughs> Catch you on the next one too. Bye. Hopefully this works. <laughs>